are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, guys, we're going to be talking about a problem that I think is starting to grow in sports. Now, when it comes to the NFL, back in the day, you would actually have a lot of players and even today, players that would actually, you know, pray. They would get on the knee. They would actually pray. Um, the great uh, Reggie White did it all the time. Many other players did it as well. But for some reason, guys, the sports media and I guess even sports leads in this case, they want to not even say when a player, an athlete is actually praying. Now, on Monday Night Football, Jaguars QB Trevor Lawrence went down with an injury. And we actually did find out exactly what happened to him. Right over here, New York Post. Trevor Lawrence has high ankle sprain and Jad's injury worry. Now, he's had a really good season. The Jaguars actually eight and four. I mean, they've had a really, really good season here. But it's not going to end the season right right now. I mean, Patrick Mahomes last season had a high ankle sprain, if I'm not mistaken. And he ended up uh, winning the Super Bowl. So I'm glad that... um. Trevor Lawrence is going to be OK, it seems. And um, they did not put a timetable on his return. However, fans noticed something from the opposing player. That actually was trying to help Trevor Lawrence. Check this out, guys. NFL says Trey Hendrickson of the Bengals took a moment for Trevor Lawrence when he was actually praying. Yeah. This is the way. That sports leads and the media. This is what they're calling. Now they're not calling it prayer anymore. They're calling it taking it in or taking a moment. Same thing happened. Earlier um, this year. Remember Coco Goff. She won her first Grand Slam. And Sports Center put out Coco Goff took a moment to soak it all in after winning her first Grand Slam title. Because right here, Coco Goff, I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm not going to play it. There's no sound. She was right there praying. And Sports Center says she was taking it all in. Tony Dungy comes out and says, I hate to break this to you, Sports Center. But Coco Goff was not soaking it all in at this moment. She was praying. She has been very open about her Christian faith in the past. It seems pretty obvious what she is doing here. Yeah. Because we got the video clip here. And uh, Trey Henderson, he is not um taking a moment. Or in this case, they actually say, after Trevor Lawrence's injury, Trey Henderson got down on a knee and took a moment for Trevor. Class act. No, he wasn't taking a moment. The man was praying. Let's go ahead and watch this uh, clip, guys. So right there, Trevor Lawrence on the ground. Henderson comes up and Trevor Lawrence can't stand. He falls back down and Trey Henderson gets on a knee and prays. He's praying. Now, look what he does here at the end. This ain't just a moment, okay? He says a little prayer. And when he's done, what does he do? He looks up to the sky. To God. He's not taking a moment. And boy, the NFL getting crushed for this. They are getting crushed for this. Now, it's probably some young person that runs the NFL's uh, social media account. And apparently they're too scared to actually say he was praying. The comment section, man, is ruthless here. Look at this. They say he prayed to Jesus Christ. He didn't take a moment. Now, Trey Henderson is actually a Christian. 
Another person says it's called prayer, not, quote, taking a moment. Another person says it's called praying. Y'all scared to say it. And that's sad. Took a moment. Are we afraid to say prayed? He prayed. Everybody could see that he was actually praying. And it keeps going on. He prayed. What he did was called praying. Thank you. Yeah, the NFL don't want to acknowledge that. Everybody's bringing up that he's praying. That is called a prayer. And it keeps going on. It's called prayer, not taking a moment. Yet the NFL is not getting away with this one. They are not getting away with this one. The second time in a matter of months, man, that we have seen something like this. Coco Goff. She's not soaking it in. She's praying. Trey Henderson. He's not taking a moment. The man is praying. He is praying to God. You know, and maybe the idea is to actually to eradicate God from sports. Maybe that's the idea. But man, to not even acknowledge that a player was actually praying for another player. That's pretty pathetic by the NFL. It is. I just don't get it, guys. I do believe that Christianity is under assault. There used to be many, many players, man, that would be openly vocal about their Christian faith. And I I still do believe that quite a few of them are. They are. But the NFL wants to change the narrative. They want to change the narrative. This this is pathetic, man. This is really, really pathetic that they did this. But um, shout out to uh, Trey Henderson, you know, showing his faith in God, NFL, praying for an opposing player. When he realized that, hey, I can't really help him right now. So the only thing I can do is get on a knee and pray to Jesus that he's okay, And now. It looks like um, Trevor Lawrence is definitely going to be okay. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.